Well, we are back with the BRZ build. Uh, today's gonna be painting the body of the car, which I'm really excited about. He's gonna give us some airbrushing tips today. So just to recap on what's uh, going on with the car so far. Last time we did the interior, that is complete now. Um, I'll do some close-up shots. The engine is in the car and uh, all the suspension looks really good. Um, these wheels turn, or they steer? Steer, yes. Wow, that's amazing. So yeah, uh, we're gonna get into the painting. Um, some of you asked to see some of his other models to see like um, his painting capabilities, so we're gonna show those off really quick. Then we'll jump into painting the body. just about ready for painting here now the car as you know came in white plastic so it's a good idea to put an overall coat of primer on the primer will help the paint stick and it gives it all a uniform uh, color to be painting over now I used um, just regular uh, painters tape to cover over the windows because the inside is already painted black and then I used uh, open cell foam just to fill in the void it also gives me a place to put the stick which I can hold it with while I paint. The bumpers are already attached so we can give the whole car a uniform coat of paint. But they're attached with white glue so that we'll be able to pop them off afterwards and that'll help uh, assembling the undersides and the interior and all that. Airbrushing is a craft that my dad has spent decades learning. When it comes to modeling, painting is one of the most challenging yet most important steps in making a realistic looking model. The goal is to make the car look like a miniature version of the real thing rather than a child's toy. When painting large surfaces, make sure that you uh, hold the airbrush at a consistent distance from the surface. Don't be making a arcing motion with your hand, which is what you might naturally tend to do otherwise the paint will be heavier in the middle and drier and lighter on the edges. Make sure that you're consistent distance from it and start the paint off the surface. Hold down the button until you get off the surface again and then let up. He starts by putting three metal BBs into the paint bottle to agitate the paint. It's kind of like the ball in a spray paint can but on a smaller scale. He then mixes two parts paint and one part thinner. The thinner makes the paint the correct consistency to be sprayed through the airbrush. It's a delicate balance. The higher the ratio of thinner, the more smooth the paint will be but also more likely to run. Why do you smell this? <laughs> Smell it. Smell this. <laughs> so we're going to start painting the body and the first thing we're going to want to do is put a light tack coat on everything and then we'll come over with some heavier coats and try and smooth things out and see how good we can do it coming up with a shiny surface. You just want to make sure as you're painting that you're that you don't stop moving you stop moving you could make puddles and runs and it would just be a bad day. Just like painting a real car, the first coat is just a mist coat. Applying a light coat first will help the subsequent coat stick better while laying a foundation for even coverage. With the body pretty well painted, we're going to add some more thinner to the paint, make it a little more thinner, and spray some light coats of that on. It'll help level things and make for a really shiny, smooth surface. Thank you. 
so the paint's looking pretty shiny already. If we're going to do a clear coat on it, it will have to wait a week. This is enamel paint. It's got a degas and and harden, and then in a week we'll be using an acrylic clear gloss. I've been airbrushing since I was a kid, and so it's become second nature to me. But that doesn't mean that I always airbrush. There are times when you want to spray paint. With the airbrush, you have much more control over the amount of paint that comes out, and the and the paint's going to be the consistency that you want. So it's going to be a lot thinner. It's not going to hide the details so much. I have painted model cars with spray paint. I use uh, Tamiya the gray primer spray paint almost exclusively for priming is just a beautiful product goes on very thin very smooth but uh, if I want to paint a model with a spray paint say for time's sake I will spray this into my airbrush cup and spray it through my airbrush it's just a lot better control so what are what are the advantages of using spray paint over? Have you done that before? Never. <laughs> that would be it. that would be so bad. So what are the advantages of just using like a spray can? I especially like the silvers in spray can and it seems like a lot of larger planes are silver. It's just it's faster. <laughs> We you should don't have to clean up after, right? Well, and there's that. I really, I get into a mood where I just don't want to clean the airbrush all the time. It's a pain, and and I can grab the spray paint and psh, 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 and I'm done. I use spray paint for airplane engines. Uh, like I said, silver finishes on airplanes, and I have done a few cars. <laughs> oh, you like the airbrush way better. I do like the airbrush way better way more control. Highly recommend you get an airbrush. Highly recommend you get a uh, single action airbrush. And I found that the Pache is very durable. I've had this this body since high school. Been through several tips, several cones, several air, air caps. Still works. Alright, well, thanks for that airbrush lesson. It's always, uh, I said that really weird. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the airbrush lesson. It's always cool seeing you work on that stuff. I remember, like, as a kid watching you paint airplanes and stuff, so it's cool that we can work on this model together. So, check that out. It's starting to look more like the real car. And uh, we should have those wheels in the mail pretty soon, too. So, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. This has got to fully dry and cure for a week before we can do the clear coat. So, that's going to be next. So yeah, look forward to those videos. Give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the series and we'll see you in the next one.